look at justice as connection and how we connect causes and consequences, how we connect the whole story of violence. So it's a systemic disorder, not an individual problem. I think for so long we've been addressing violence as if it's my problem, my particular woman problem, as opposed to being connected to a racist, patriarchal, neoliberal, capitalist framework. And unless we begin to hook this up, we're never going to move it further. And so the work that I'm doing and what, you know, for uh, uh, One Billion Rising is really, I think, celebrating the fact that women, primarily women of color, not just in the United States, but around the world are rising up for environmental justice mm -hmm. that's rooted in human rights that intersects with reproductive justice and economic justice and includes climate justice and food justice. And you would never have known that I was a person incarcerated for 27 years if I did not tell you. Right. So that's what I'm trying to say. Don't believe what you see on TV. Right. Don't believe what you are told. Go investigate for yourself. Mm -hmm. Listen to what's being told in front of you. You have to venture out. Be like... What, I, I throw philosophy out there because it's very important. Plato's cave. Go outside that box that you have boxed yourself in because it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. Step outside your comfort zone because outside your comfort zone is your world. Mm -hmm. It's the real world. Mm -hmm. The real world will not hurt you, but you will hurt the world mm -hmm. if you stay inside of that box. Mm -hmm. we've, we've got the policies. We've got the punitiveness and we've got the silence. So the question is, when we think about One Billion Rising, the focus isn't just on neoliberalism, it's on how our own politics, the politics of feminism that don't really address these problems, the politics of anti-racism that really don't talk about what's happening to women, the politics of, of globalization that really don't think about and talk about what's happening to low-wage women in the North or in these particular environments. So I would say they come together around an absence of an intersectional politics, an intersectional practice that looks at how all of these systems are converging and importantly, how we've allowed them to converge from our silences. Mm -hmm.